Yesterday we learned that even though a regular Kohen is actually obligated to attend the funeral of his parents, even, even though this would mean defiling himself, becoming richly pure, to be part of the mourning process, he's actually obligated to do so for his next of kin. But a Kohen Gadol, a high priest, has a specific prohibition of touching or carrying the corpse, even of his own parents. Today we learned an additional prohibition, which is that he's not allowed to come under the same roof as a corpse. And as we spoke about in the laws of ritual purity and impurity, there are three ways a person can become richly impure, touch, carry, and coming under the same roof. The only exception to this would be a mace mitzvah. If somebody encounters a dead body and with nobody um, attending to it, nobody that's taking care of its burial, there is a mitzvah to, uh, to attend to it right away and bury, bury it right, right away. The, the, the Jewish burial is so sacred that this can't be pushed up at all. And if a Kohen Gadol, a high priest, would be wandering in a forest or in a desert or somewhere where there's nobody, where nobody else is around and would encounter this very sad occurrence of seeing a dead body, he would be obligated to defile himself, even though he's not allowed to do so for his own parents, in order to um, take care of its burial, because of this, the, uh, even though this would mean that he's no, not able to work in the temple for the days that followed, because of the, the sacredness of Jewish burial, that is not to be pushed off, and since nobody else is, th is there to attend to it, he must do so, without hesitation. Thank you for watching.